Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? It's your girl Twin D. You know that. Anyways, guys, it's Wednesday and it is time for another message, another prayer. Although we should be praying every single day, but this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> Well, that's not what I wanted to say, but that came up, so I said it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is the day that we have put together, put aside for us all as Twin Flames. Whether you're a subscriber of my channel or not, once you see this message and you want to take part in it, by all means, go ahead. We're all here to serve one purpose, and that's to help others. And bring love and light onto this earth by means of God, spirituality, prayer, actions, forgiveness. Did I say love already? Well, love too. <laughs> More love. So, let's jump into it, guys. Because we as Divine Feminines, we need the prayer we need the help so we too can stay focused can remain focused on our true path so we can wake up and truly see what our purpose is as divine feminines not even as twin flames but as divine feminines because we're the leaders of this journey if we don't heal if we can't let go of our past of influences negative influences of negative emotions then it's like we're taking 10 steps back without even taking one step forward. As I always say to you, this is a fight between good and evil. And if we, as the servants of God, we can't come together as one and we cannot heal ourselves and we cannot get back onto that path of light, love, and abundance, and spirituality then it's like we're failing at our duty we're failing at our job as twin flames whatever we're doing oh just saw two three four yes yes you get ready for something man there's a change that's coming into us as I was saying in one of my readings things are changing just like the weather just like the weather with each new season come something new and wow I tell you the, the wind coming from outside right now it's so chilly you can feel the autumn breeze coming in just like this just blowing in just blowing in so guys let's jump into this prayer because we both need it divine feminines and the divine masculines because we got to be strong for each other again just picture yourself holding hands with everybody in this room everyone around this this earth every twin flame that's watching this today or whenever you are watching it just picture yourself joining hands as we all come together and wish for the same thing blessing healing protection and love from God for us all let's jump into it guys and oh I'll be I'll be reading a prayer that I say I say this prayer every single night before I go to sleep every night I say this prayer because I believe it helps so much and I'll be saying it tonight for our protection as divine feminines from all the evil that's trying to stop us that's against us that's trying to over overpower our masculines that's trying to blind our masculines that's trying to deceive our masculines that's trying to prevent them from moving forward saying this prayer to ask God to give them the strength to stand up for themselves to remember who they truly are and to remember who the divine feminine is and to remain on the path to the divine feminine so we both can come together and fulfill our destiny as twin flames so we can do God's will on this earth 
Let's jump in, guys. Father, thank you for making me righteous and accepted through the blood of Jesus. Because of that, I am blessed and highly favored by you. I am the object of your affection. Your favor surrounds me as a shield, and the first thing that people come into contact with is my favor shield. Thank you that I have favor with you and man today. All day long people go out of their way to bless me and to help me. I have favor with everyone that I deal with today. Doors that were once closed are now open for me. I receive preferential treatment and I have special privileges. I am God's favored child. No good thing will you withhold from me. Because of God's favor, my enemies cannot triumph over me. I have supernatural increase and promotion. I declare restoration of everything that the devil has stolen from me. I have honor in the midst of my adversaries and an increase of assets, especially in real estate and an expansion of territory. Because I am highly favored by God, I experience great victories, supernatural turnarounds and miraculous breakthroughs in the midst of great impossibilities. I receive recognition, prominence, and honor. Petitions are granted to me even by ungodly authorities. Policies, rules, regulations, and laws are changed and reversed on my behalf. I win battles that I don't even have to fight because God fights them for me. This is the day, the set time, and the designated moment for me to experience the free favors of God that profusely and lavishly abound on my behalf. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So that was short but sweet. <laughs> short but sweet. So Divine Feminines, all you have to do is release your cares to God. Release your cares to God. That's all you have to do. Let God take control. Focus on your blessings. Focus on what God is giving you. What God is going to give you in the future. And all, all that you had in the past. Whether it was good or bad. As I said before, the bad. It was either meant to break us or make us. And you would have had that choice. These bad, whatever they are, people, things, places, come into our lives to teach us a lesson. Now it's up to you to take that lesson and learn from it. Or don't pay attention to the lesson and focus on what's happening or what happened and remain in the negative energy not learning anything, not getting stronger, not pushing forward, not serving your purpose. That's why you have here gentleness is the path of peace. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. Once you remember that God is the master of your life and the center of everything, that's all that you need. You need nothing else. You need nothing else once God is involved and in the middle of your life. I do nothing but pray. When I hear of evil or negative stuff, whatever people are trying to do to me or whatever, I don't try to do it back. I don't try to do things to, to say, get off of me, spell, or whatever it wants to be. I just leave it to God. I just leave it to God because sometimes when you try to do things on your own, when you try to work on these things, when you try to fight spirituality by yourself, you in turn sometimes do more damage because you're a physical person, you're a physical being, you can't fight spirituality like that. You got to allow spirituality to fight spirituality. So you have to leave everything up to the big man. He's all that you need. He's all that you need. 
And when you have him, you have everything. A happy home, happy life, wonderful friends, a wonderful family, a beautiful and wonderful masculine. My apologies. Wonderful children. Wonderful support group like this Twin D camp. Supporting each other, loving each other. My people will live in safety, quietly at home. They will be at rest because we have nothing to worry about. That's because we have nothing to worry about. Because we are leaving everything up to God focusing on what's truly important our blessings and our mission our purpose and we are not trying to get back at anyone for anything because gentleness is a path is a path to, of peace 111 we got to be gentle we got to show love even when others are hating on us those who are hating on us, we're going to show them more love because they need it. And it's because they do not know what love is, which is why they hate. And keep hating. And keep hating. And they never change. Until they keep suffering and suffering. And they wonder why they are suffering. But they don't realize that it's because they have been hurting others who has been loving them. That's all you have to do, love, and everything will be okay, because God's got your back, people. He's got the whole world in his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. And we are in the world, so he has us in his hands too. Keep praying, guys, for our strength and courage. God will help us all. He will protect us, protect our masculines, our family, our children, everything and everyone. Thank you all for being here. Pray for each other too. Love you all, guys. See you again. Bye. Very soon. <laughs> Bye, guys.